Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and i um, doing this one a little bit audio only, um, just for the sake of the fact that I kind of look like shit right now and don't want to be on video. But I feel like I should put out a video just on some thoughts on some recent things, because I haven't been able to do a Thespian talk in a while. And uh, as you can see, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, it's going through some older title cards. Um, uh, the one that's up for me right now is the Mamma Mia card. Uh, that was, I'm gonna, I gotta credit her here, uh, I'll try and remember to credit her on the doobly-doo, but that was commissioned, that was a commission that I had hired, uh, Magdalene Rose to do back, oh god, how many years ago? <laughs> uh, it was one of the last ones I was able to commission her for, um, for the, you know, again, the Mamma Mia review, which, um, that'll eventually be up on my VidMe channel, um, because I'm, I'm going through, like, all of my older stuff to get put up there. But, uh, anyways, I'm, I'm digressing a little bit. But, uh, yeah, the Mamma Mia review, that's Magdalene Rose. Uh, the other ones are, are all done by Becky, as, as per usual. Um, well, the the drawings are. Um, me putting the background and the and the text and the logo. The, that, that, you know, I did that in Photoshop. But, you know, the, the actual artwork of me, that is Becky. Um, but, yeah, I'm rambling, <laughs> as I do. Um, but there are some things that have gone on recently that I do kind of want to bring up and address and, and just kind of talk about, put my thoughts out there, uh, for good or for ill. Um, I, I, my, my, may, my mind may flow from one extreme to another throughout the course of this thing. Um, I, I always feel like my points of view on certain things can be more fluid. So if you hear me say one thing at the beginning of this and then have me say something totally different at the end, uh, you know, odds are it, I probably just changed my mind in the middle of it. <laughs> um, you know, maybe had a revelation like, holy shit, you know, um, that does happen. Um, and, and just putting that capper right, out, right there on the, on the front there, that way, you know, it's, it's something to expect, potentially. Um, so, recent thing that I want to talk about, the biggest thing right now that's kind of coming through, um, whatever I can see on, like, Twitter or, or, or Tumblr or, or Facebook or whatever, is the whole YouTube age restriction thing. Uh, you, you follow me on Twitter, uh, you've probably noticed that I have, you know, retweeted a few things about it. Um, I just watched a video by Jacqueline Glenn. By the way, if you hear engines in the background, I do apologize. I'm doing this at a truck stop. <laughs> Because uh, that's pretty much the only way I can get things done nowadays. Um, at any rate, hopefully I can out-talk it, uh, which I think I can. Um, damn, that guy's loud. Anyway, uh, YouTube uh, restricted mode of uh, kerfluffle here, as I'm calling it. Um, kerfluffle, cus clusterfuck, whatever. Um, and I, I feel like that the restricted mode has always been there. Um, just... It's just now it's coming to light and different things are being done. I, I guess it's changed up a bit. Um, certain certain new parameters are taken into consideration when it comes to whether or not a channel is filtered under this mode. And one of the big things I see coming out are videos about, uh, uh, like Jacqueline Glenn said, said in her video, uh, depression is one of them, anxiety, uh, talking about how to deal with those. Uh, and the big one, talking about um, LGBT issues. Uh, which I'm already, I'm already, oh, I'm already fearing how many of uh, Lacey Green's videos are going to be flagged for it, and and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, immune from this. <laughs> uh, I I managed to be able to check my channel, and yeah, there are some some of my videos that are man managed to make it through the filter. Uh, some of them didn't. Some of them very understandably didn't. My Honey Pop series, obviously, it's not going to make it through the filter. I would kind of hope not. Um, but the point of but, but the point of the filter is you know it's 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 basically like it's basically parental controls is what it basically is, and by YouTube putting pretty much any LGBT plus Q A I barbecue uh, as I playfully call it sometimes, um, putting any of that stuff under under that filter, you know, like like OMFG protect the children type thing that kind of filter. Um, I, that that uh, as others have said, it sends a message that says, "Hey, um, we don't think this is appropriate for your kids to be looking at." Now, I don't have kids myself. Uh, I, I've 
uh, but I have lived around uh, small children a good chunk of my life, uh, whether it's my cousins that have been staying with us or the, whether we've had foster kids at the house um, or, or, or even right now, uh, one of my cousins lives with us and she has two kids and, and they're like no, no older than 10, like 10 or 11. I don't even know how old they are, but uh, they're still, you know, small children. Uh, or maybe not so small children at this point. They're, they're you know, a couple of years, they're going to be teenagers. But I digress. And I know the oldest one was at one point caught just trying to look up porn. You know, and, and bear in mind, this child is, I, I think they're like 10 going on 11. Um, and they were caught just, you know, looking up porn in, in the way like, like boys having sex with girls, I think was the string that they were putting in. And, and it's like, you know, they were curious and, and, and I'm being gender neutral cause you know, this, just the way I want to do it. Um, you know, they're curious kids are, you know, these kids are curious. They're going to want to know these things. They're going to want to know about sex. AS at 10 years old. I mean, I mean, hell, I, I got curious about sex when I was like seven or eight. Hell, I was watching, I mean, full disclosure, I was watching porn. Eight, eight, okay? Not often, obviously, but I snuck it, I looked at it, and I thought it was kind of interesting and looked kind of neat. <laughs> I didn't find out about masturbation until later. But, again, I digress. TMI, I know. Uh, I can already hear it. Yeah, why would you share that? Uh, to give you guys a perspective of where I'm coming from, or at least that's what I'm aiming to do here. Um, but, yeah, kids are curious, and it's not just about sex itself. They're going to, you know... Maybe one of those kids is going to realize, hey, maybe I like girls in the same way that I like boys. Or maybe I like only girls in the way that people expect me to like boys or vice versa, you know, and they need some sort of out, you know, some sort of source for that. And with, with the two kids at home in particular, I mean, I can pretty much cover it myself, but, you know, that's me. I can't cover for every kid out there. And that's why there are YouTube channels out there like Lacey Green, like uh, Jacqueline Glenn. I know she's covered some of it, too. You know, things like that, that these kids need, you know, that are, that are like, hey, you know, this is this is the bare bare bones facts that maybe your parents are too timid or too afraid or too backwards to tell you about or, or that, you know, the sex education in your area has failed you. Here's where they failed. Here's how we can. Here's here's what really going on here you know things like that um you know that's where these 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 channels do come in um and and they are important they are <laughs> I, I would say they're almost required viewing if you have a preteen coming up or, or if you have a kid that is interested or or, or, or asking questions you know I, I say interested curious really i think is the word i need to go for here if they're curious about it and you don't feel adequate to it, whether you're finding it too awkward. I can understand that. I would find it a little awkward, but, you know, you know, I would power through it. But again, not everybody is me. I understand this. Um, so they go to like YouTube. They don't they don't know YouTube doesn't have porn or at least it's not supposed to. Um, for a given value of porn, I know the honey pop title card just popped across there, uh, but that's not so much. Well. That, that's borderline, I guess. Um, it's it's Candy Crush porn. Anyway, I digress. I keep going off on these tangents. I apologize, folks. Um, ah, where was I? Right. So they're going to get curious. They're going to look up this stuff on YouTube. They're going to look up about sex. They're going to want to know. You know, they may not want to see. They may not want to get into porn necessarily. But they're definitely going to want to find out what it's all about. What does it entail? You know, uh, I mean, I mean, my podunk little town. I know when I was in high school, uh, we had sex ed when I was in seventh grade, I think. I don't know what it's like now. But, you know, schooling aside, I think if a kid needs to learn about it, you know, they should know. And I, 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 I'm bringing it back to YouTube. I will be bringing it back to YouTube. Just just bear with me. <laughs> uh, and I know some people are like, man, I just got to the point. I apologize. Um, this is all off the cuff, off script. Um, just getting it there. Um, so they go to YouTube and they look up things like sex. And there are some people out there that are just like, mm, you don't really want to get your sex information from. 
But then you have people, like I've mentioned, Lacey Green, Jacqueline Glenn, just to name two, um, that have talked about this and talk about it in reasonable ways, at least as far as I've seen. Um, so you get you get you get the information out there. In fact, in fact, Lacey Green is a good, you know, her channel is a good source for sexual education information. It really is. Uh, I, and I, I stand behind that. I've stood behind that since 2011, actually. <laughs> um, well, okay, minimum of 2011, but you get the point. Um, so, yeah. And for YouTube's filters to say, yeah, this deals with sexuality, period. You know, it, it's it's nothing traumatic. It's not like it, it's not like it's a channel playing nothing but rape scenes, which, if you have a channel like that, I worry about you. Um you know, or, or anything horrific like that, that could traumatize somebody of that age, you know, it, it's basically information given out with a candy, sugary candy coating, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and there are some tough top topics that need to be discussed. You know, you got to have the topics about STDs and everything. And with this updated YouTube filtering system, and I say updated because I, I believe the filtering's always been there. It's just a recent update. They're basically sending out the message that no, kid, we we you know kids should not be trying to find out about this stuff that goes on with their bodies, that they will be more and more interested in, and they're not getting answers anywhere else. And we're not going to provide that either, at least or at the very least not make it easy to provide it for them. Um, I've heard I've heard rumors that. You know, some uh, under 18 kit, you know, some some um, minors are getting unsubscribed from certain channels that are marked as mature. And I'm pretty sure some of them are getting unsubscribed from mine because um, when I did, I did double check. And I, like I said, I know my Honey Pop review, not review, I'm sorry, my series rather, my Honey Pop series is, you know, of course, is filtered out, of, you know, as a mature series because, well, no fucking shit. But I also couldn't find my own channel. When I searched, when I logged off and did a search, interestingly enough, I found my Thespian Talk channel, <laughs> which is a lot more controversial than my regular one. Let me tell you. <laughs> so I don't know what the algorithm for that is. Um. Oh God. But um. But yeah, it is. It it is bullshit that that YouTube is pulling this. And I'm already seeing some people cry out, it's censorship, it's censorship. In a technical sense, yes, but in a legal sense, no. Let me explain this. Legally, they, they you know, YouTube is private company, Google, YouTube, private company. They could do whatever the fuck they want. If they don't want to have, if they don't want to allow certain people to see certain content, that's their right. With that being said, however... That doesn't make it any less bullshit, and that doesn't make it any less irritating and a little scary even that YouTube is admittedly, and, and they put out, a, put out a statement where they pretty much outright admit that they're kind of pandering to a minority here of people who just don't want this content seen. So instead of the minority, in this, in this case probably just uptight, um, regressive parents, um, I don't know, you know, that that's what I'm going with right now. The the actual group is probably a lot more nuanced than that. Um, but for the sake of this argument, these regressive parents um, well, don't don't want to parent their kids. They just they want to keep them in this bubble, and they don't want to have to work to keep them in this bubble any more than they have to. So they all wrote letters to YouTube, which which interestingly enough is probably a lot more work than just you know, actually parenting your damn kid and telling them, hey, I would prefer you not to see this stuff and setting up your own goddamn filters. You don't need YouTube to filter it for you. Um, the fact that a bunch of people got YouTube to do this, you know, again, a minority of people got YouTube to do this. You know, so, and, and at least that's how I understand it. So they're catering to a minority that, again, uh, for the sake for the sake of for the sake of this conversation, I'm calling them regressive parents. They don't want their kids learning about sex, so we're gonna 
talk to YouTube and filter it so we don't have to do shit, you know? Even though there are probably plenty of cheap and or free filter, filtering programs that they could download. Just, you know. But apparently they can't do that or, you know, whatever. It's just, god damn it. Parents should be parents. You know, that's that's one of the big things. And and that's, ba that's the whole thing. Based on my own understanding and how it comes across to me, um, just, you know, it's like, hey, <laughs> yeah, YouTube's being dicks, you know? Legally, it's their right. Legally, it's their right. But just because you have the right to do something doesn't mean you should. Like, yeah, I have the right to go into this truck stop here, buy a pack of cigarettes, and smoke them all in one night. I have that right. Should I do it? Hell no! That'd probably kill me. Because, you know, I don't smoke. <laughs> But, but I, I still have that legal right to do so. YouTube has the legal right to, to basically filter out whatever the fuck they want. But that doesn't mean they should. That doesn't mean that it's right for them to do so. You know, morally speaking. Um, so yeah, YouTube, they, they, they're, they're, they've been sw swayed by the think of the children regressives. Again, that's just what I'm choosing for the purposes of this conversation, for this video. I know it's a lot more nuanced than that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, YouTube's giving in to minority pressure. Yeah, not the not the good minorities. Um, as I see it, good quote-unquote good minorities. Um, it's bullshit. It may be the right, but it's still bullshit. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much the... I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna all I want to say on this for right now. Um, if I get a lot of if I get a lot of responses to this, I might do a follow up video. Um, hopefully, I'll have more title card artwork or, or other things put up uh, as a slideshow later on. I hope uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, and hopefully this one is not filtered out. Um, but if it's not, if it is, then well, spread it around, get it to people, that sort of thing. Um, oh, before I, before I pop off here and just, just fuck off and do my thing, um, there is one thing that Jacqueline did bring up and the, the whole demonetization because of controversial material thing comes up. Um, one way to get around that though, like, like if you're, if you make your living on YouTube, um, and you want to be able to keep doing that or whatever, um, a good way to do it is to go to Patreon, um, not necessarily for your uploading videos, but just, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure there are fans out there. I mean, hell, even I have a few fans that throw me money, okay? If, if my, if, if my fat, hairy ass can have fans throw money at me for, for just doing this bullshit that I do every now and then, surely people who are a lot bigger than I am can have it done too. And probably to a much greater degree. Um... So, again, I, it's basically, you know, reminder, Patreon is an option for those who basically rely on video production or, or just production in general to basically eat. So, so you know, if, if YouTube isn't doing it, you know, that's, you know, you can help by, by supporting, a, supporting your favorite producers on Patreon if they have one. If not, encourage them to get one if, if it looks like they're going to be in, you know, financial straits. Um... You know, most most of them is like maybe a dollar, two dollars a month. You know, re really inexpensive. It's like, yeah, what you're 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 out, you're out a liter of pop. That's about it, <laughs> or maybe two liters, uh, depending on what store you go to. I've been at a lot of truck stops lately. Things are more expensive. Um, so yeah, um, what YouTube's doing? Yeah, it's bullshit. Legally, they're within their rights. Still bullshit. Um. Do I do I do I think do I wish they would reverse that? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> um, is, is it threatening the livelihoods of people who use their platform? Yeah, looks like it might be. It could be even. I mean, and, and for all I know, it probably is. Um, so you know, if you like your if you like the producer and you really want to help support them, uh, throw them some money on Patreon. If again, if they have one, or or buy their buy their products. As I know some of them have like stores and shit, you know, buy their stuff. Um, you know, that sort of thing. 
<laughs> uh, so yes, thank you guys for listening, and, and if you're watching it on YouTube, watching this video, I apologize for the lack of variety in the title cards I've got put up. This was very, very much just thrown together. I don't have all my title cards on hand. Uh, most of them are at the house, um, so I'm, you're just stuck with these four um, that are, are based around me personally, uh, me and, and the productions that I am predominantly a part of. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and again, the Mamma Mia card, if I don't have it in the doobly-doo, just in case I don't have it in the doobly-doo, um, that is done by uh, Magdalene Rose, who does have a YouTube channel, Super Princess Tea Party. Uh, she's a great artist. She puts out some really good videos, too. Um, and she also has a Patreon. <laughs> and um, and she's she's good people. Go check her out. Um, you know, listen, You know, listen to what she has to say, because uh, I'm pretty sure she'll have a video on this, too, at some point. I'm pretty sure, and if not, then um, I don't know. I'll, I'll eat. I'll eat something horrible on camera. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's say within a month, if she doesn't have something on this, I'll, I'll eat something horrible on camera. Um, maybe I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll have to see. <laughs> I and and again, apologies for like the super rambling or whatever. If you've made it this far, bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Um, probably we entered wandered around a bit. Like I said at the beginning of the video, my my stances sometimes can be fluid, and, and my thoughts can be a little bit more fluid. So if I say something that contradicts something at the beginning of the video, just bear in mind, you know, my mind is still it, it's it's a fluid process. Um, but uh, the things that are set in stone, though, legally YouTube's within their right. I know I'm I'm, I'm broken record. YouTube's within their right. Um, it's bullshit. People's livelihoods are likely to be affected. And, you know, support support your favorite producers if you can. You know? Um, you know, some of us have Patreons. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm finally, I'm finally, okay, I'm finally gonna get off, get off here and go fuck off for a while. Um, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for just staying through this whole, almost... This is almost 23 minutes now. I really do appreciate it. I God, I can ramble. I earned my motor mouth trope, let me tell you. Um, so, yes, thank you guys for listening. And I uh, hope maybe I'll do more things like this in the future. Um, if you like these kind of style videos, let me know. Uh, and I'll, maybe I'll, I'll try and do more. Uh, it'll, help me, it'll definitely help me get some more content out there, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah, take care, everybody. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.